what's going on people it's your boy grind all right back with you so what have i accomplished in the last 48 hours man um <laughs> i organized about 985 samples i went through all these sounds some of them i just threw in the percussion section but the majority of them I, you know, broke down in the folder. So it's, you know, so I only got 73, but so that means a lot of them are in folders and that one. So yeah, I'm up here debating about these kits. So I got this from a producer and I got all his sounds from his hard drives, County Brown uh, from Addicted Dopeness. So I got his sounds. I've been organizing, going through them, but Come to find out a lot of his folders had a lot of the same duplicate sounds to a certain extent so i haven't went through everything and renamed it yet but i think what i'm gonna do is just combine every single kit that i've gotten from him into one and then like if we need to because these are samples that he's chopped out of like everything you know so this is like stuff we can actually put out but it's still I don't know. Don't know. It, I, I think I'm just going to put them all into one big kit and then um, go that way. So the point of these vlog videos is just talking about the world of organizing samples. I haven't found anything online talking about it. So that's what I'm here to talk about. Trying to add a new category. Trying to be different. Why do I have to be different? But yeah, so I got a kit on here already I made by him called the CB Dopeness Pack. And I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm just going to extend upon this. So um, everything will be added onto the CB Dopeness Pack. And then we'll probably have different volumes if he wants to come out and sell them. But uh, I told him, like, we'll probably just go through and pick your top 20 claps or ensnares and just certain things and just break it off into categories or just pick all the snares that you like. Then we go through and, you know. So, yeah, I guess I'm turning into a sound designer to a point. So, he came over today. We talked about some things, chopped it up about the machine. He came in, got his machine. He let me borrow his machine, and then I just ordered mine. Um, sorry for the rolling chair, but I like my wood floors. I have my machine. Uh, I guess it's a docking thing. But I like it. The reason why I got this is because um, I didn't want to put it on this stand because this stand raised up here is really high. This one still kept it at a, a decent height, you know. So if I still had to run my wire, the wire comes out the back. It's not too much higher than this. It probably is right about there. But until I replace my speakers and get my studio monitors, uh, the monitors, I kind of got to leave these monitors low because of my bows. So, yeah. So right now, I'm going to get my new machine. Like I said, I found one for 200 an MK2 regular size machine. I really like them. I like the black LCD and all that. Um, I might be selling my micro. I don't know. Um, I, I'm a hoarder of technology because stuff goes out. So... I would put this back up in the box and just wait for something bad to happen. Or if I, you know, set up another spot somewhere else across the country, I would take this with me. You know, that's just how I am. So, as you can see with my phone. So, I'm excited about this. I've been organizing this. So, my uh, machine NK2 should be in tomorrow. I'm excited. I can't wait. You know. So, that's going on. Um, other than that, I'm just going through these sounds still. Um, it's a lot of sounds. I have so many sounds. I got this one sound bank from uh, Richie Stacks. This isn't it right here, but I have one from him, and it's just huge. Or it was huge. I think I moved all those sounds out. Yeah. Because it, it's a, yeah, so I'm going to make some kits out of his, and it's a lot of sounds. These are sounds, I guess, that he's been collecting for his uh, MPC and his Renaissance. So he has 22,000. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to go through these. 
break them down, man. Organize them. Figure out where they go. You know what I mean? Figure out what's what. And that's where I'm at right now. Um, I'm not in a rush to add, just throw more sounds in. It's really about the organizational stuff. And if I notice something like, I noticed that um, a lot of these sounds kind of like, back in the, like 10 years ago, when you got sounds and they gave you drums, you would have like different frequencies of 808. So it'll sound the same. It'll literally sound like boing, 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 boing. Boing, 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 boing. It was like so subtle. It's even less subtle than that. I don't even know why. I'm, excuse my sound effects. But anyway, so that's kind of like what this kid is. It's like a 10-year-old bank, like 15, 10-year-old bank. So these are more like retro classic sounds of like 90s, 2000 hip-hop and rap, like the 3-6 Mafia trap rap and all that stuff is what the sounds, the era it's from. This is like the beginning of trap music. And most people don't know like the beginning of trap music. I grew up with it. Like 3-6 Mafia and all that stuff. Memphis, that's where trap music came from. Like the original sound, the hi-hats, the, all that. It just, it, it came up in Atlanta. You know? So it was born in Memphis in my idea. Because I remember we couldn't play certain songs at clubs and places. It's a place in St. Louis called Saints and the Palace. And they would not play certain songs like Tear the Club Up by 3-6 and all that stuff. They wouldn't play it. So that's kind of like my idea in the genre for some of these sounds. Um, and they're all drum sounds. It's just all drum samples. So, yeah, I'm not done with these. I think I'm going to spend a couple of days going through these. I think I'm just going to combine them all into one, make one big. It's going to be called the CB Dopeness Pack. He said he seemed to like that name. Oh, yeah, another thing. Let me show you this before I get off. Give you a little update. It's probably just going to be one video for the day. If I do two, you know, you'll see it. It'll say part, whatever. I'm never going to guarantee I'm going to do another part because... My phone could ring right now and I'll be like off doing some work or talking, period, running my mouth on the phone. So, what I figured out, Brohims. Now, I hope you can see this. Hold on, let me get up and check. I really didn't sit, so, okay. So, peep this out. I have icons in here now. So, at first, I didn't program these other icons because I didn't care. It was just like, I'm not going to make all these things and I don't know where they're showing up. So, I think I'm going to like invest into a studio. Um, go ahead and get, get a machine studio. And I don't know why I want all the machines, but I, I really like them. Just the fact that they work with the software. But um, I think I'm going to go ahead and get a machine studio so I can get the graphic. But on my desk here... I'm definitely going to use the, um, the machine, um, <coughs> excuse me, MK2 on my desk because it, it just fits. I don't have a bigger desk until I spend this bread on a bigger desk. This is what I'm working with. So I got them to work on here. So when you scroll through the sounds, like the kits, I got the little image up there, you know, so it works out. So I show him this today. He liked it. He loved it. So, yeah, and it pretty much works out. I mean, I think I moved some stuff around. That's why it's not working for some of the sounds. Yeah. Yeah, so it, it's, not, it's not bad. You know, all the claps you ever need. You see what I'm saying about some of the sounds? Some of them are like drastically different. Some of them are almost the same. Yeah, but I just love the organization of this. So this is through my complete control keyboard. So the complete control keyboard links into the machine software very well. I, I know it should, but just actually it working. It's like the concept of electric car versus one working. You know, it's good to have the idea of it, but the fact that Tesla has one working is where the money is. So, 
Yeah, I'm I'm really happy with the system. I'm programming this stuff in. This is stuff I'm planning on keeping in here for years. So I'm still going through samples, like I said, people. Just give you a little update. Um, I don't know when you're gonna watch this video. It may be years down the line, it may be tomorrow. I don't know. But um yeah, so I'm still going through samples. Um I got I got distracted last night and started working on this stuff, you know, <laughs> icons and stuff. I, I got freaky with the Fruity Loops, my Fruity Loop sample bank that I had from a while back, you know. All you Fruity Loop sounds. Sometimes you just want like a clap like that. Like you've been using it for years, you just want that clap, you know. So. Yeah, that's what I've been on. I mean, I, I love this uh, sound organization process I'm going through. A lot of producers can't do this just at any time because the thing is, it's like you already got beats and stuff linked to sounds and stuff. And most of these dolls and production software pulls the stuff from the whatever path. So it's hard to move your directory around. Facebook going on. So... Yeah, I just wanted to go through that, uh, give you guys, you know, I can keep on saying update, update, update. And what's going on? Just really rambling. Got about two minutes, you know, left on the timer. Enjoying some wine tonight. Got some apothic. You know, you got to switch it up. So, yeah, that's what I'm on. Just figuring out what I'm going to do with all these sounds. I have about 328 sounds before I'm done. I might come back and make one more vlog for the night. You know, give the channel some content so when people do find me, they can watch something. But, um, yeah, so that's what my journey is right now on this um, sound sampling hustle or sample organizational hustle. I don't know what I'm going to call this video today, but I'm going to try to categorize it differently. Fill in the index of YouTube. Might hit a decent category one day. But yeah, so I'm just going to go through the rest of these sounds. And um, yeah, this is my process. Listening to sounds while they loop like this. So like, I know that's a hi-hat. I know that was open, closed. You know, so I just... Drag on and closed, open, you know, and this is pretty much what I do. I can make hours and hours of footage of me just sitting here listening to sounds. Like, what's that? Do, do I have enough of those? There goes another rim shot, you know what I'm saying? So... Oh yeah, deleting duplicates also. You see how like close those sounds are? It's like they're all at different volumes. Like I don't need I have so many snares, I just it's not that serious for him. So yeah, so this is my process. Um more, more samples. More samples, more vocal samples. Yeah, so I'm just sitting here dragging files. 313 files to go, so once I get done with this, people, I'll probably be back with another one. And that's my timer, that's my time. So this is my time to say subscribe, like my ish, and uh, if you have any suggestions and stuff, I might be at a different point in time by the time you see these videos because, you know, the channel has to build itself and grow, gain subscribers. So, you know, I might be at a whole different point, have all this stuff done. You might just be looking at this just to see what I went through to organize all these sounds. So, all right, people. Well, I'll get back with you in a few. Like my ish. <laughs> Later, people.